Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, let's take a look at if Carvana stock is about to go through a short squeeze. We will be taking a look at the price section, support resistance key levels, identifying the trend, and going through our checklist if the stock fulfills the all the points for the short squeeze that is if about to happen in Carvana stock. But before that, I want to go over a bit of background on what Carvana is going through right now, and then we'll come back to these technical analysis on it. With that, if you can please also hit the like and subscribe to my channel, that will be amazing. And I appreciate your support, guys. So thanks for that. All right, so a bit of news on Carvana. So Carvana cancels a billion dollar debt swap as creditors hold out. So it's all in all, a negative news in short, you know, the deal did not come through while they're struggling to go through this, say the crisis of recession and raising debt or just all in all, the business is not turning out profitable as well because the financial side of financing to buy a vehicle is also going through a liquidity crunch. All in all, this is the macroeconomics because the Fed is trying to take liquidity out of the market because inflation is on the rise. So that's where Carvana stands. And that's what brings us to a little bit of more background on last year, you have seen a lot of downgrades. Some have even put the stock price down to a dollar. Um, so again, these are just guys analysts with their own thoughts and opinions. It doesn't mean it's going to happen this way, but something, you know, to take a look at. Now, that being said about, you know, a little bit of background of Carvana and, you know, what they also do is that they operate an e-commerce platform of buying and selling used cars in the United States. So um, all in all, this is the bit of background and the recent, you know, the issues that the company is going through. Now, let's take a look at what is the checklist that checks off the points for potential short squeeze if it happens in Carvana. Well, so what is short squeeze? Basically, if you have seen my videos on short squeeze before, um, you know, I'll leave the link to that in the description as well below, but definitely check it out. What this is the concept is that when the sh sellers or the short sellers have been piling into the stock price, they keep selling, selling, and they borrow the stock, stock price keeps going down. But what eventually happens is when the consolidation starts happening, the price starts to go up, it squeezes the short sellers to start covering their position. And more the short sellers piled up, the more buying momentum comes in as they start covering their position, which creates, you know, buying pressure to the upside alongside with the buying momentum coming in from momentum traders. So that's what drives the stock price exponentially up quite high quickly. So definitely um, this is what the short squeeze is. And let me show you that video actually here on my channel that I highly recommend you should check it out. So here it is. All right, guys, so here's the that video. What is short squeeze in stock market? And this is how AMC and GameStop also went through short squeeze. This video explains everything. Link is in the description. Definitely check it out. You can also search for it by typing in, you know, short squeeze by junior trader. And this video should show up, guys. So definitely check this out. Highly recommend it. All right, now going back to our uh, short squeeze checklist. So the first thing is that the stock should have high short interest, normally 20% and above. Let's take a look at where Carvana is. So on Finviz, it says 50%. That's guys, it's huge. I mean, it pretty much means um, the stock price has, or sorry, so the stock has half of its shares borrowed and shorted. Yeah, you do the math. This is very massive, like even so this is another app coffin i use um so right now there is says that around 45 percent so definitely one is the lagger i usually think finvis is the lagger because this is where the short interest around in february or march was around 40 50 percent so yeah so even if 45 percent on a coffin app it's um quite huge guys 40 45 percent yeah it's very huge short short interest right now on this stock so which means short sellers have been piled into the stock now and i'll be doing a little bit more analysis on where those potential resistance with the cover positions would be stop for the stop losses for short sellers and we'll cover that in a while so the first point checks off for us yes there's a high short interest on it on the stock price so be watchful on that 
The second one is lower the float, the better shares available to trade publicly. So if we go back to Finviz here, uh, the short float is just 95 millions, like stray shares that could be traded publicly. So it's not that huge and comparative to that, the average volume, uh, it's also quite significant um, for, for that type of trading. And you can see in the last few days, at least the volume has been rising as in comparison to what it was in a few days ago. So definitely watch out for that. There's another breakout happen on huge volume above the moving averages, which I'll also be covering in my one of the points in the checklist here. So yes, Carvana does have, you know, not super low float, but definitely it's it's a lower float stock. Strong volume consistency in last few days. We do see at least for the last two days, uh, we are seeing after the breakout of this 200 days moving average, the red line, we do see at least for now good volume coming in higher than the, what the average volume has been. So that's also checks off for us. I would want to see more, you know, strong volume. But if you are a risky trader or risk like taking trader, then you can have, you know, because it also provides a good place for the stop loss on the buying side. You can just have a very, you know, um, narrow stop loss on, on this. The fourth one is stock consolidating at the bottom. So that's what we have had. So you can see the stock price haven't had any massive moves to the downside. It has consolidated all the way from October last year all the way till now. So a little bit of spike but then definitely uh, has came back down and consolidated. It has refused to fall further, <laughs> further below zero dollars, right? The lowest it has been to three dollars which is again wow too low right so this stock consolidating at the bottom also checks off for us the next one is price action showing breaking some recent multiple resistance and confirming moving averages so this one is you can see the yellow line guys which is the 20 days moving average stock price is above that Purple is the 50 days moving average stock price is above that as well. And lately, recent it has also gone over 200 days moving average, which is the red line. So all in all, the stock price is checking off all our uh, resistance, major moving average resistance levels that we wanting it to break out of. So definitely um, this also checks off for us as, yes, it has broken some resistance levels on the moving average sides, right? Now, let's draw some other levels that are major resistance levels, and then we'll also compare it with where the most of the you know uh, stop losses for the cover side would have been placed by the traders. All right, let me just clean up the chart here a little bit. I gotta do get rid of some of those arrows. All right, the let's cover one more thing, guys. Before that. So that we are done through the list so sixth and seventh point so macro catalyst is you know what is driving the stock market up these days it's ai what keep a look on what carvana news is out if it's really throwing out a lot of positive news with the macro catalyst that can also be a catalyst for it and the social catalyst is like guys are the users on reddit twitter talking about the short squeeze or short and buy 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 they are doing that they want to have a short squeeze all these are social catalysts that can also drive the stock price. The so last two are more like you have to do your research on ongoing basis. Now, let's talk about those resistance levels and key support uh, areas that we talked about in a while or a while ago. All right. All right. So the very first strong resistance that we have the stock price coming to is the level of $19.93. You can even take it as, you know, um, pretty much just $20 straight off the bat so let's mark it here and also because if you if i zoom out this is where this touchdown was also the COVID peak um so let's let me show you right around this level guys this has been also a strong you know support level in the past which has act tried to act support here in the july last year and then also now has been using resistance lately so this is you know definitely a strong resistance level but the good news on our side is guys that stock price has gotten over this 200 days moving average the red line and after that we do have another resistance level which is i would say 
sure okay one which is forty two dollars and another one add below that twenty nine dollars and then twenty nine forty two and then guys the other one is at the level of fifty seven dollars so we have these some resistance levels um, to go through however after that we really don't have any resistance huge resistance level on Carvana till $99 so yes if the short squeeze comes in it can really come strong so and these levels guys that we have then definitely if $19 breaks guys this is going to put the stock through the some good amount of short squeeze because this is one of the major resistance level out of this consolidation let me delete this checklist guys we have gone through it let me clean up the chart a little bit so yeah so twenty dollars nineteen dollars or some cents right if it's stock broke broke above it then yes it becomes a good catalyst as well on the maybe a strong momentum is gonna come in the stock price but again guys um all in all these are the levels to watch for um Yes, Carvana is looking like a really good candidate for the short squeeze. And let's see if all these points on the macro social catalysts and if we keep seeing momentum to the upside, you know, uh, comes to fruition. Um, but again, even as to try it out again, this is not a financial advice, just my opinion. Again, do whatever you want to do with your money. But if I would be putting my money into it, it would be at this point buying some, st uh, you know, shares. And having my stop loss right below 200 days moving average say a dollar or two or even below this candle because it's um right now the stop loss could be very narrow while i can have good risk to reward ratio like good reward ra reward ratio for me all the way up to these key levels if short squeeze happens right so a little bit of you know that's the thing with such stocks that yeah you got to have stop loss in these stocks but yeah it's looking like a good candidate for the short squeeze let's take a look at few other things guys um and that is uh the the chart here for the sh short interest as it has been rising so the short interest to the peak has been guys around this peak of 20 dollars and this is where i'm talking about that this is the major resistance level yes definitely if stock price can get above 20 you know um, dollars I am expecting that many of the short sellers would have their stop losses right above it that may bring in some more buying momentum on the stock so pretty much that's the level to watch for on Carvana and because it has been gra slowly and slowly going up the short interest and peaked at around very much this area and from there it has fallen a little, little bit so maybe some uh, covered the shot while they also entered but still it has been rising since this downturn as well so from $30 onwards as well actually the short interest has been quite rising which means if they are still holding their stop losses should have been somewhere right over here or above that above this peak because it's a pivotal point and that's what i wanted to cover with carvana on the short squeeze side guys yes this is looking really nice um on the you know short squeeze candidate short float is really high guys short interest is at 50 percent or so yeah so yeah watch out for the stock guys on the upside so let's see and i hope you found this video valuable and helpful guys uh, this was also requested by one of my subscribers so um yeah, shout out to my viewer who are doing all this research. This is awesome. All right, guys, with that, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you in my next video.